stunning, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Just lovely. Everywhere you turn, it's just beautiful. Montenegro and Croatia. We're in Montenegro but the film you're about to see is still in Croatia. <laughs> yeah we've been having so much fun we couldn't fit it all in this episode so we're doing a, a two-parter. It's the middle of a football tournament so we use the old uh, football pun. It's a game of two halves. I hope you like the film. Coming up some of the most beautiful anchor spots in the world and the challenges of getting there and the old town of Dubrovnik, spellbinding. There are over a thousand islands in Croatia, and in the last episode, we stumbled across this one. Big ship party island was great for one night, but we are looking for a rather more peaceful place to stay for a couple of days while we explore Havar, a wonderful old town with a castle. So we sail around the corner to a bay with just a couple of smaller boats. It's quiet, out of the way, but has a rocky shoreline so we have to tie in with ropes to the shore. There's also a tiny islet with a small building next door. I think someone might actually live there. Looks like a house. So we tighten the dinghy up to keep it out of harm's way and uh, I've got the choice of we've got the ultra line here and there's another webbing strap here so just take one of those out and uh, pull it into shore I've also got uh, a rope that I made up that I think I've shown before especially for this which is, is this it's just a, a bit of rope with some chain and uh, I've got two eyes on the end of that so I can just put that round uh, a bit of rock and tie it into that. Tying ashore is a bit of a palaver but everyone does it here so it's as well to be prepared. How much depth we got? A little pull, we just need a little pull just to set it. The trick is to anchor as usual and then put two ropes out to stop the boat swinging. We use reels of webbing. It usually works pretty well, particularly in places where the weather is unpredictable. So we've got a bit of jagged rock here. I've got just about enough, so it's not gonna chafe, hopefully. Do want it on here? That's gonna be the problem. Chafing on there. Let's maybe bring this up a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Don't want to get any serious chafing on that, because by the time it pulls hard, That'll be off that bit. You don't have to be strong to do this, but it helps. Job done, it's time for a rest and a swim. And oh yes, Steve's daily ritual of trying to rediscover the hull. These little critters have been with us since Venice. The water is perfectly clear here and the fish slice does an okay job. We're still sailing slower than usual, but at least some of the hull is now clear of sea monsters. And it makes a lovely Jacques Cousteau picture. I know, that reference shows our age. Downtime on the ferry, catch your lunch. Havar is one of Croatia's go to islands. It's very pretty and welcoming for visitors. Usually, you'll have no chance of just tying up on the quay, but this year, as you can see, it's far from packed. We'll just probably just leave it in here, can't we? One of these. Oh, yeah. I think any of these are 
work as a dinghy dock. Lovely place. And a nice shiny ring. Perfect. The market stalls suggest some tourist activity, but mostly the town is quiet and, well, ancient. The narrow alleyways and steps lead up to the fortress on the top of the hill. It's quite an effort, but worth it. build them on top of hills. Look at the view, it's amazing. The 13th century fortress was ideally placed to look down on the town and the surrounding sea. It's still pretty imposing. So what do you think is the most impressive? The castle, this enormous triffid, what a lovely view. Look at all those boats out there, Steve. That is the most we've ever seen. I think they're racing. I'm sort of regatta, I should think, yeah. The next day, with a good bit of breeze, we continue sailing. The thing about having so many islands to choose from is that it doesn't really matter which direction you go in, so we can just follow the wind. The only imperative is finding the right place for a workout on the paddleboard. Go on, you can do it. Even better with two. and a bit of help from the engine. This is our last day with Chessie before she has to go back to the UK. It's been a lovely visit. We continue south to possibly the most beautiful anchorage we've ever been in. The smell hits you as soon as you come round the corner. <laughs> and the winds, the wind really has dropped. There's just nothing. Just, we're just surrounded by mountains. It's lovely. Immersed in pine forests, it's peaceful and imposing. Early morning is the best time to visit the Green Cave on the island of Viz, we're told. A hole in the top. I'm not sure I've completely woken up. All right, let's get in the water and see what it looks like underwater. The water is perfect, mystical even, and a swim before the crowds come, sublime. Later in the day, the wind picks up, so we have to move the boat to the other side of Viz Island and take a buoy. It's not something we like to do, partly because Fair Isle is a heavy boat, but it's compulsory here, so we have no choice. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to have to do it from the water rather than the dinghy because the, uh, we pulled the, the mooring buoy well underwater, so I'm going to have to dive to put the second rope on. With this sort of wind, I like having two ropes on. Well, I like having two ropes on anyway, so let's do it. Our boy was completely submerged and the wind was pulling us back all the time. In the end, Steve had the line through. Take that and just pull it through. Pull it through this one? Pull it through that one, yep. We weren't the only ones having problems.
Several boat hooks were lost to the waves. A reminder of the practicalities of liveaboard life is laundry, though it may have been a mistake to go to a laundrette in prime tourist territory. This is the most expensive wash I've ever done in my entire life. Ten pounds per load and another ten to get it dry. <laughs> it's still oh. cheaper than Havar though, wasn't it? What was it in Havar? Yeah, oh, that's, that's true. Havar was £12. Pounds. Yeah, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. <laughs> that's true. Anyway, I hope it works. If it works, and we're also going to hang all this on the boat. So, yes, it's going to be a big wash day today. Time to explore the town and some dubious manoeuvres on the town quay. Ouch. Viz has only been open to tourists for the past 30 years. Before then, the islanders enjoyed splendid isolation and at one point even minted their own money. But now the ancient streets have been discovered and made famous. Mamma Mia 2 was filmed here. This dress might look very pretty on. You really don't know me at all, do you? So we went looking for film locations. It says this chapel was built in 1462. But the real attraction today is, of course, Sophie's house. This way. Google Maps says this is the building. I could be wrong. At least it has given us time to dry the washing. The next morning the wind really picks up, but in the wrong direction, which we take as a challenge. We are headed for Dubrovnik, but we have a few days in hand, which is just as well, especially if you can't go in a straight line. Well, not stronger than we thought. It's great. <laughs> There's also rain forecast. So enough wind to tackle in. Yeah, look, it's good. We'll have to tack every 10, 15 minutes because <laughs> <laughs> it gets quite narrow further down. But yeah, no, I think it's going to be good. Okay, well, that's going to be make, uh, making breakfast uh, interesting then because uh, I'm just trying to get a bit of a fry up going down here. We uh, can never do proper fry ups, that's the problem because kind of bacon, not that uh, that worries Judy because you know, she's got all veggie on me, I, we can't, she doesn't have that. So it's going to be mushrooms, egg on toast, all that sort of good uh, veggie stuff. Uh, this butter, I'm not sure I've cracked the butter thing, this uh, Croatian, not sure if that is Croatian for butter, this looks rather like margarine to me which isn't great but uh, whatever, we'll see how it works. While we eat breakfast, we take a quick look at the map. The predicted straight pink line is about 12 miles long, but this is our route. So that's why sailing takes all day. It's worth it though, we do have time and we get to see more of the place. And anyway, tacking is fun. Thank you. 
So there's been quite a lot of tacking up and down here, short tacking. We haven't had the staysail out uh, to go a bit quicker and it's better with it, but yeah, I use very short tack, so we haven't bothered. But to do this, staysail obviously is still in the way. Because the, uh, the inner stay is there. But it's okay, because what you do, don't get carried away trying to pull it around. Wait until the sail is up against it. Let the wind bring it around, but then be ready to go fast. Because then you don't have to do so much winching. So as soon as it's slipping around, like it's up. Nice and fast, and actually, you'll see hardly any winching left to do. So Judy just pinches up a little bit to help me. Get it wound into where I want it. Just get on the fastest course. There she does. And then look at those. I could watch this for hours. Others opt to motor with the wind behind. Each to their own. Everywhere you go in Croatia, there are ancient cities. This is Korkulia, which we don't have time to visit. But just around the corner is a wonderful monastery and an anchorage. Just the place for us. The alarm call is free of charge. Just having breakfast this morning and it started to rain, which is actually very good news because if you look at the state of our, uh, our boat, uh, this is what it's like when you don't have a water maker to uh, have enough fresh water to wash things. Look at that. This is the horrible sandy stuff that you get with these little bits, bits and spots of rain which we've had over the last day or two. Now we've hopefully got enough of a downpour that I can actually give it a bit of a wash. I hope the rain keeps coming. A DC water maker is our next big purchase after the battery and maybe some other things. Boats. Mustn't forget the solar panels as well. We might get twice the power out of it after this. The rain eventually stops and we continue our journey south. More beautiful coastline and a light breeze. But however beautiful Croatia is, and it is stunning, nothing prepares me for this. Dubrovnik Old Town. Breathtaking. This ancient city is majestic, haunting, and I'm acutely aware of how privileged we are to be travelling. It's no surprise they had this for the Game of Thrones, is it? It's made for it. It's amazing. Just go over the brow of the hill and down and that's your sight. That's just amazing. we have the place to ourselves. It's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Just lovely. Everywhere you turn, it's just beautiful. So if you've watched Game of Thrones, you'll know that this <laughs> is the point that Cersei did the walk of shame. Judy's going to reenact it. I am, yeah, so absolutely. Just, just a minute, I'll hide uh, <laughs> behind and take my clothes off. <laughs> no. <laughs> the 
OK, so we couldn't resist that. Sorry, Cersei. Game of Thrones fans will understand. There's even a fountain to cool off in the heat. <sighs> That's better. Cool. Ooh. We spend the whole day walking and still don't see everything. Dubrovnik really was really was amazing <laughs> breathtaking really <laughs> it really was yeah I mean it, it rivals Venice for its sheer beauty just walking around it and pretty empty as Venice was when we were there mm. so very very lucky for us that that was the case but there is a real dark side to Croatia itself you'll see it in the next uh, episode that we're going to put out um, yeah I mean the game of two halves really does mm. just go for this you'll see yeah as we checked out I mean d during our time there you know we'd pretty much avoided I think the overcharging and things like that as far as as far as we could mm. but as we checked out our passports were taken away we were threatened with arrest and fined for something that they couldn't really explain that we had done so have we got it on the website You've been, you've been looking for half an hour through loads of pages and we still, we still haven't Please found it. As it turns out later, I put the thing on Facebook and we had translations done. And we, you know, it was something we hadn't done. It was just a matter yeah. of giving us a fine. And it's just annoying and, yeah, corrupt. Yeah. It's just horrible. And it's spreading throughout Croatia. I've been here well, three or four times before. It's getting worse and worse and worse. It's like a cancer. It's spreading around. And uh, when you've got officials that are completely corrupt like that, that we're just looking for an excuse to, to fine you, it's... It, really not good mm. but next episode we'll, we'll show all that we'll show exactly what what happened but also we're going to show you this place and <laughs> this place is amazing montenegro it is <coughs> it's lovely the mountains are taller the place is smaller <laughs> but there's so much to do and we've only scratched the surface here oh, yeah. so i know the next week before we put the the next piece out um, we'll do some more exploring in Montenegro as well. Yep, yeah, really looking forward to that. And if you've been look, following us on social media, you'll see uh, we've had a, a little video that we put out uh, a few mm. days ago for a competition for two free uh, little solar generator things, which Bluetti have kindly given us to us to give to, to viewers, which is nice of them. So um, <laughs> have a look at that. I'll put a link to, the, to that video and you just um, you know, subscribe and do all the things you normally do. And we'll Tag put your people. Name, we'll tagging. Put, tagging, yeah, tagging. Yeah, that's an that's, uh, Instagram thing, apparently. Uh, but you do all that stuff and we'll put your name in a hat and we'll have the draw in the next episode. We will. Give away two free ones. So thank you very much um, for watching. Thank you to our patrons and our subscribers. And thank you. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching.